Burmese tofu Burmese, IPA, top U acute, or tohu, is a food of Shan origin, made from water and flour ground from yellow split peas and the Burmese version of chickpea flour, also known as besan flour, in a fashion similar to polenta. The flour is mixed with water, turmeric, and a little salt and heated, stirring constantly, until it reaches a creamy consistency. It is then transferred into a tray and allowed to set. It can also be made using dried chickpea instead of processed flour. In this process, dried chickpeas are soaked overnight. Once the peas have been rehydrated, they are pureed in a food processor with some of the liquid used to soak the peas, then allowed to set for a couple of hours. Much of the top layer of clear liquid is then skimmed off and the remaining puree is brought to a boil with turmeric and salt and cooked and set in the same manner as the version using chickpea flour. It is matte yellow in color, jelly-like but firm in consistency, and does not crumble when cut or sliced. It may be eaten fresh as a salad or deep fried. It may also be sliced and dried to make crackers for deep frying. Despite the name, Burmese tofu is unrelated to Chinese tofu, which is made from soy milk with added coagulants. Varieties and etymology Pei Bya, literally flat peas, refers to Chinese tofu and is translated into bean curd. In English in Myanmar, stinky tofu or the fermented form of tofu, however, is called sita hpu, probably a version of the Chinese word cho dufu. One ta hpo is the yellow form of tofu made from yellow split peas or zada bi in Shan state. To hpu giok or dried tofu is yellow tofu sliced into a long thin rectangular form and dried in the sun. They are similar to fish or prawn crackers and sold in bundles. To HPU made from chickpea kalabi, flour or paymont is the common version in mainland Burma. It has the same yellow color and taste but slightly firmer than shan tofu. HSAN ta HPO is still mainly confined to shan regions, made from rice flour called HSAN mont or mont mont, and is white in color. It has the same consistency but slightly different in taste. It is as popular as the yellow form as a salad. There is no f as in French in the Burmese language, hence p as in the word pot is used in to hpu, the Burmese version of tofu. Preparation Fried to HPU giab is yellow tofu cut into rectangular shapes, scored in the middle, and deep fried. Tofu fritters may be eaten with a spicy sour dip, or cut and made into a salad. They are crispy outside and soft inside. Napian giab is so called because the fritters are twice fried after the tofu is cut into triangular shapes. It is the traditional form in the Shan states. To HPU giok kya or deep fried tofu crackers, like napian giok, are usually served with HT amin gyan, lit. Sour rice. Balls kneaded together with tomato and fish or potato. Another popular Shan dish, fried tofu goes very well with kao nyan bong, glutinous rice, as a breakfast option, and also with mohinga, rice vermicelli in fish soup, or rice noodles called HSAN H kok sui, especially Shan H kok sui. Green tea is the preferred traditional drink to go with all these in Burma. Salad To HPU thuk or tofu salad with either to HPU or HSAN ta HPO is very popular as a snack or a meal in itself whereas fried tofu on its own is considered a snack. Both may form part of a meal where all the dishes are customarily shared at the same time. Fresh tofu, cut into small rectangular slices, constitutes the main ingredient of the salad, dressed and garnished with peanut oil, dark soy sauce, rice vinegar, toasted crushed dried chili, crushed garlic, crushed roasted peanuts, crisp fried onions, and coriander. To HPU giab thuk refers to tofu fritters cut up and served as a salad as above. To HPU Enwei, warm tofu, or to HPU Bia, soft tofu, is the soft creamy tofu served hot before it sets, usually as a salad dressed and garnished the same way. It may be combined in the same dish with tofu fritters or rice noodles. Curried 
2 HPU Gayat, sliced yellow tofu may also be curried with fresh tomatoes, onions and garlic, cooked in peanut oil and fish sauce, and garnished with coriander and green chili. It makes a good pescatarian dish to go with rice, but also popular among the poor if meat or poultry is unaffordable. Gallery See also Notes External links Burmese tofu recipe Large-scale manufacture of Shan Tofu Inli Lake, Myanmar video